Okay, so growth care is kind of a, uh, I would say, kind of a rare occasion where they're just saying no about a certain plant. Right, and that's burning bush, the plant, Euonymus. Uh, let's take a look and see why they're doing it. All right, here's growth care. Well, we're here in beautiful Tierney's Woods. It's one of the places that burning bush has escaped and naturalized, and that's not a good thing. Burning bush is a plant that was pretty commonly planted in the landscapes over a long time, 80 years. It's suppressing native trees, native shrubs, wildflowers in those areas where it's really been prolific at reproducing. I've been planting euonymus for 50 years, and I don't see it growing beyond the one plant. So how does that happen? Yeah, that's a great question. So in managed landscapes or in people's yards where you might do a lot of mowing or planting other things or even just weeding, in those kind of types of situations, you're probably doing a good job of keeping any seedlings that might be there or fruit that might fall to the ground from growing birds or rabbits, um, small rodents can spread it. So starting in January, this goes on what's called the noxious weed list. What does that mean? And that means that it'll be banned from sale in Minnesota. It'll be banned from being imported into the state. But we're at a point right now with burning bush where because there's not a lot that's escaped, we can do something, we can keep an eye on the ones that we've got them in our yard to make sure they aren't reproducing a lot. If left off the list, would this be the next buckthorn? That's the suspicion, yes. There's worry that it could be. It's always hard to predict because we never know. I think it could have the potential to, to be something on the scale of buckthorn. Well, you did a good job because you convinced me that there's a reason <laughs> not to use burning bush anymore. Thanks, Emily. You're welcome. Well, thank you for tackling that, that uh, subject matter because well, I, I think like, a lot just, of people have questions, man. I was man. amazed like you. But the you know, thing is they're hoping it's not the next uh, buckthorn. That's okay. the scary part. And so the real issue is when you live next to a woods, as right. you mentioned. Then it goes in. I got one story quick. My best friend, Jer New Jersey, partners in a garden center. I call him up. I say, hey, Larry, you know, burning bush is going to be uh, banned. banned in Minnesota. He goes, for religious reasons? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, Larry, not I for love religious Larry. reasons. All right. All the information of why it's going to be banned is on our website. And you can get that story and all of the information and an invite to our Grow With Care Facebook page on this number, 763-797-7215. All right. We'll be right back. We'll be inside.